what is up guys love flap here for another video today i'm going to be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh master duel i played a little bit of it but i also have not fully jumped into it so the reason why we're going to be jumping into it today is because members from our discord for the longest time have been asking us me to play Yu-Gi-Oh and I have had every excuse in the book not to. I've been scared, I've been overwhelmed, I've been worried, and I've been scared that my credit card is going to be stolen by Konami because they keep asking me to spend more money on this game to get more cards. But that isn't the main issue that I want to press here today. I really do just want to explore the game and then eventually try out some uh, ranked matches because that's obviously going to go swell. If you guys are looking forward to that though, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's probably, not probably, that is going to be streamed on Twitch and probably on here. That one is an actual probably. So if you guys are looking forward to some ranked matches to see me get upset, that would be the place. Outside of that, enjoy my first ever experience with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, or Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, <laughs> because it should be pretty entertaining. Alrighty guys, we are here, oh my gosh, I can barely hear myself right now, I'm not going to lie to you, let me turn this down a little bit. So, as you can see my VTubers here, I had something that I was going to say that was going to be kind of witty, but there wasn't anything witty to say, this is just what we're looking at right now. But anyways, Master Duel. We're just gonna open this up. I do remember attempting to start this a little bit, but I don't remember where I dropped off at. Nine gigabytes of data is crazy, bruv. Okay. We'll be back after nine gigabytes of data downloads. Oh, we are back, guys. I... Oh, man. I was trying to pay off something on my credit card, dude. I don't know what's going on. They made it really difficult for me to be able to get in there and change my password. So I have to wait until tomorrow. So that that's a bit annoying. But we're going to ignore that. We're just gonna do solo then. Okay, uncover the hidden stories within the cards and duel with decks built for drawing out their potential. Learn how to pilot each deck with the in or and the ins and outs of their strategy. Excuse me. Once you have earned all the rewards within the gate, the status will update to complete. If you have any rewards left, it will say clear. Oh, I see. Okay. So I did the tutorial. So I guess. Oh. Oops, I'm just going to do all of this with you guys. I didn't even read what that was. Oh, I just kind of clicked on it. Hold on. Okay, for when you want to start, or excuse me, for when you want to learn or relearn the basics of dueling, take the first step here. We recommend that you play this before you try dual training or any of the mini gates where you will experience the story. Okay. Child's play. Let's look at the basics of duels. Based on the basic controls you learned in the tutorial. First things first, regarding monsters, when you attempt to place a monster on the field, two options appear, summon and set. Let's review the difference between summons and settings. Okay, I'm going second. No if, ands, or buts. It's just what it is. Gotcha. Okay, monsters below level 4 are easy to put on the field. They will be useful, especially in the beginning of a duel. Use the attack and defense values to determine how to put them on the field. Okay. Excuse me. To summon a monster with high attack, summon it- Oh, summon it by putting it in a face-up attack position. And to summon a monster with high defense, set it on the face-down defense position. Okay, so he's trying to attack me with that. That's uh, 1.5 or 1.4k, excuse me. I don't know why I keep adding things that aren't there. And, oh, I said 500 because of my health. Some monster, some monster cards have various features such as high attack and high defense, etc. The attack of your opponent's monster is higher than 
that of crowned by the world chalice in your hand okay if you summon the monster as is you will not win in battle so let's put the monster on the field in another way let's set crowned by the world chalice oh literally let's just set it now you're ready for attack for the attack of your opponent's monster and your turn okay your opponent's monster is attacking if your set monster is attacked by an opponent's monster the attack of the opponent's monster is compared with the defense of your monster if your monster's defense is equal to your opponent's monster's attack, it will not be destroyed in battle when you will successfully block the opponent's attack. Furthermore, if your monster's defense is greater than your opponent's monster's attack, you will deal battle, battle damage to your opponent. Because mm. I'm stronger, so he just killed himself. I see. It's a pretty straightforward game with a lot of trickery. <laughs> Cause you don't know what card somebody has up their sleeves really nice okay next let's talk about spell cards and trap cards many spell and trap cards are single use cards that are sent to the graveyard after their effects are resolved however some spell and trap cards remain on the field instead and continue to have an effect let's go over the differences still got me going second Pretty wild, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Spell and trap cards that remain on the field use that remain on the field. Used spell and trap cards are sent to the graveyard, but cards with continuous equip and field icons remain on the field. Notably, field spell cards will be replaced in the dedicated field zone, not the spell and trap zone. Used spell and trap cards are sent to the graveyard. But cards with continuous equip and field remain. I see. Wait, he just put down. Is it gonna explain it? Dust tornado, that's why I just pulled. Target one spell trap. Target one spell slash trap your opponent controls. Destroy that target, then you can set one to trap <laughs> yourself. Oh my god. Field spell cards are placed in a dedicated field zone and activate various effects while placed on the field. Destroy your opponent's field spell cards with the effect of Dust Tornado that you drew. Let's set Dust Tornado. Okay. Target one. Okay. And then I can set one from my hand. So I'm going to set it. They want me to summon it to attack. I didn't know that could attack. I thought I could only defend. Now you're ready for the attack of your opponent's monster. End your turn. The opponent is now activating an equipped spell card. Equipped spell cards are also spell cards that remain on the field. Unlike field spell cards that affect the entire field, Equipped spell cards affect the monster that are equipping them. Mm. Activate a trap card before your monster is destroyed. Activate dust tornado and destroy your opponent's Gaia power. If a field spell card leaves the field, this effect is no longer applied. Activate dust tornado and destroy your opponent's Gaia power. They said, is that what this is? Select the cards. Oh, this one. Wow, okay. I see.
Spell cards cannot only be activated on your turn, but can also be set like trap cards. Many spell spell cards can be set and then activated during your turn, except for quick play spell cards. Instead, you can set it, then you can activate it on your opponent's turn. You can activate it on your opponent's turn. I'm just taking in what they're telling me because there's a lot going on here. Smashing ground, destroy the, destroy the one face up monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense. When putting a spell card from your hand onto the field, you can choose where to activate or set it. Let's break down the difference between the two. Let's set Smashing Ground. Okay. Spell card set on your turn can still be activated on that turn. Let's take a look at it in practice. Activate Smashing Ground. So why would I set it just to activate it? Spell cards are primarily used during your turn. This is true not only when activating from the hand, but only, but also when activating cards set on the field. Some spell cards are called quick play spell cards. When activated from the hands, it, be it behaves the same as other spell cards, but when set from the hand, it cannot be activated that turn. That's interesting. Keep in mind that when set, it has a feature that allows it to be activated even during the opponent's turn, just like a trap card. That's what it's for, okay. Try summoning Beckon by the World Chalice. Okay, I see. That makes more sense. Let's proceed to the battle phase. Attack your opponent's life points directly. Interesting. Blind spot strike. Feels good to get rewards for just learning the game. Alright, in the main phase of your turn, you can freely perform most actions such as summoning monsters, activating spells, or trap cards, or setting any of the three. The main phase is split into main phase one and main phase two, with one either side of the battle phase. Let's review the role of main phase two. Okay, and I'm going second, of course. It would not have me going any other uh, way. All right, main phase one is primarily for preparing to attack in the battle phase, including summoning monsters. After the battle phase is over, remember to move on to... <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember to move on to main phase two. In main phase two, you can prepare for the opponent's turn, such as setting trap cards. Uh... Target one face out monster you control against 400 until the end of this turn. During your turn, accept the card. What's up to the graveyard? You can banish this card to your graveyard. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, summoning monsters, activating and setting spells, and trap cards are some examples. Main phase one is when you set up for an attack. The skill successor in your hand cannot be activated even if it's set this turn. Let's summon a monster and proceed to the battle phase. Try summoning Chosen by the World Chalice. Hold on, let me read what this says. Uh, during your turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card to your or from your graveyard, then target one face up monster you control. That target gains 800 attack. So if it goes to your graveyard, you can take it out of your graveyard and give it uh, give somebody else more damage. Is what I'm understanding that as. Let's try attacking the monster. Uh, it's not going to, right? Oh no. Uh, he has a trap card. The opponent's face down position monster was a crimson ninja. 
Crimson Ninja destroys a trap card set on the field. If you had set skill successor in main phase one, it would have been destroyed by the opponent's effect. Let's end the battle phase and move on to phase two. Jesus Christ. Main phase two is an important phase to prepare for the opponent's turn. Spell and trap cards can be activated and set the same way as in main phase one. Furthermore, if you did not normal set a monster in main phase one, you can normal summon slash set a monster in main phase two. Let's set skill successor. So because I didn't set that in one, I can set it in two. Now you're ready for the attack of your opponent's monster. End your turn. Alright. So even if he attacks me... So I get oh, 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 oh. I see you just got played son cuz I get that 400 difference Oh my god That's nuts that's nuts that's really nuts I like that a lot <laughs> That was really cool. Let's take what we learned and reviewed so far and duel using the basics, basic rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Both players will start with 8,000 life points and 5 cards in their hand. You can duel with the deck you have as is or you can gather cards to build a new deck. Uh, I'm just going to do whatever deck they give us. When it comes to like deck building and all that, I'm not exactly the strongest. Okay. Standby phase. So, I think what I should be doing is placing things down to where if he's countering it, it's already it's over. So let me read everything that that happens. So she has D. This is a defensive card. All right. Two point one k. Where a magical staff, she can channel the living heart of her world to shield her people from the mech knights. Uh, something like that. Okay. Um, how many cards can I set? Is there a limit? Hmm. Gains 400 attack while you have one or less cards in your hand. If you control no other monsters, the effects of flip monsters destroyed by battle with this card are negated. The effects of flip monsters destroyed by battle with this card are negated. Oh, I see. If I kill things that are already... Okay, so I should hold on to that. If this card battles a non-normal monster, this card gains 500 attack during the damage step only. Interesting. The damage step only. So, I would want to set this. This is already a good defensive ground to have. Destroy the face-up monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense. Your choice if tied. If you control no monsters, special summon one level 4 or no lower normal monster from the deck. I don't know what they, what they mean by if you control no monsters. Like... If nothing's on the field, I'm assuming that's what they mean for right now. Because I don't think I can put anything else down. I don't want to set down this either. Destroy the one face up monster that your opponent controls that has the highest defense. Your choice of tied. She can't attack. There's no point in putting that down. So I'm going to end my turn right now. Ah, uh, so he just hurt himself. Destroy one face of monster your opponent controls that's the lowest attack. Okay. Destroy one face of monster your opponent controls 
destroy one face-up monster. And then Tomb Warrior. Alright. The Warrior's antenna can attune it to any energy wave. It can monitor transmissions from miles away, but always suffers from bad perception. Okay. So, if that's the case... Damn, I don't think... Can you see what they put down? Oh, no. I can't see what that is. They set down a trap card, so I can't tell. Um, damn. If this card battles a non-normal monster, how do you know? Uh, is that normal? Fiend, normal. Oof. Alright, alright. Fiend's 400 attack while you have less than one heart, or one card. Uh, he can actually, like, beat him. But I also want to set this This is all I can do. What is that trap card? That's that's scary that I don't know what that is. Oof. That's really scary that I don't know what that is. Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it in a defense position. Oh dang, he just brought it back? Ah, shit. Increase the defense. I can't destroy anything, can I? That was a good thing that I put down. Um... If I set a card, can I not attack? He clearly put that there because I, I'm not strong enough to handle that. And I don't believe I get any, like, but what is Tuner? What is that? I don't, I don't know what Tuner is. I, I, does it mean anything? Maybe it's just, it looks special. If you, have, if you control no other monsters to affect a flip monster is destroyed by battle with this card or negated. I can switch his. Well, I definitely need to. You know, if he's stronger... But I definitely need to, like, put more of these guys down, for sure. What is this? Special Summon what? Uh, two normal monsters affect, like, non-effect monsters you control gain 500 attack. All effect monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by your opponent's card, you can target one non-effect monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Okay. So I'll just send this to the graveyard then, right? Oh, I have to send both of them to the graveyard. kind of scared. I don't know what I just did. You can only use this effect of Defender of the Labyrinth once per turn. Oh, shoot. Okay, so can I... If you control no monster, special summon a level 4. That's what that says. So that's... that's I should be able to summon something, right? That, that counts as a monster, doesn't it? Did, did it not end my turn? I'm scared. 
Okay. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. So, if I hit him right now, I'm just going to lose my defender, right? Sorcerer's spell wall. Um, all monsters you control gain 300 attack during your turn. Only all monsters you control gain 300 defense during opponent's turn only. Wow, that is something I can use right now. But I don't know what his spell card is, bruh. So, if I put this down, <laughs> is it going to activate if I get attacked? Or should I just activate it now? Yeah, it's my turn. Okay, cool. That was a non-normal monster. He's still... Oh, man. I need to put the pressure on him. Hopefully, he doesn't have anything that makes it to where I can absolutely get cooked. Alright, that's what I thought. Nice. Nice. He still hasn't activated that trap card this whole time, and that worries me. It's like he's waiting for something specific. Main phase two. I can special summon. Whoa. That's what phase two is for, so I can actually use that to get more on the field. Hmm. Bruh, I can't, I can't. There's nothing to special summon. Realistically, for me. Three monsters. Yeah, they're asking for three things, and I, I don't have three monsters out on the field right now, bruh. There, there's no way they count this. They count the, uh... Yeah, that's why I thought. They wouldn't count that as a freaking uh, tribute. So I guess I just have to end my turn. There's nothing I can do right here. I can't special summon anything. Man, if I would have known that, I would have put him down. What just happened? Oh, it's for that turn only. But my defense should be up. But now my attack is up against. That is on the defensive side. So does that really have that much? Uh, that should be high attack. I don't know if I should sacrifice him, though. Because I would still get a special summon. 2.6k plus the uh, spell, the field spell that I'd have. That, for some reason, he doesn't have anything to take out with. So, because he doesn't have anything to take out with that, if I was to special summon a 2.4k freaking enemy, that's the, or, yeah, the monster, that seems really good. What's the difference between these two? I'm going to hope that I get something good out of it. Oh, man. I honestly do not want to get rid of that. That's that's so good. It does not seem smart to special summon. <laughs> I'm just going to battle for now and see what happens. Like I th Whoa! What just happened? I really don't know what just happened. So, I attacked him. That was his uh, trap card. It flipped. Target one trap card on the field. Destroy that target. Target set, reveal it, and destroy it if it's trap card. Otherwise, return to its original position. And then this is what I had.
But because it wasn't a trap card, nothing happened. So it just got sent back. Interesting. That's unfortunato. Isn't he about to die? I mean, I can still special summon, but again, that just does not feel like it's a smart thing to do. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay, if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by your opponent's card, you can target one non-effect monster in your graveyard and summon it. So I can summon... Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm just gonna put it in the face down position. You still have to fight that. Target one normal monster in your graveyard. Oh crap, I didn't read that. Nice. Target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position, but it cannot attack. So that can't attack, period? <laughs> oh, I see. You're worried. <laughs> <laughs> you're worried. You you know you're going to die. It's better to just leave all that. I have multiple. Oh my gosh, dude, you you're just cooked. You're actually just cooked. Who do I attack first? These two can take each other out. Oh, wow. Okay, that was interesting. And to cap it off, let's finish it. Yeah, that's pretty sick, bro. Alright, 200 gems, a valuable gemstone with a mystifying glow. Excuse me, you can use these at the shop to purchase car packs and accessories. And then we are at the goal. Mate's base slash normal monster card own. Earned. Uh, why do I talk like this? Earned. Earned. <laughs> a stand in the shape of a card that started many duels. Inscribed on this card is a fragment of history. It tells us something about the way monsters were and what happened in the world in which they live. Oh, that was pretty nice i'm not gonna lie i think i'm going to be playing more of this because that was actually really engaging for what it was it it was longer than i thought but it did not feel like it was long at all it did not feel that way at all so if you guys enjoyed this please leave a like let me know that you enjoyed it and i will be sure to have more content like this just for you guys